Hello there. So uh, I'm going to present you my new speaking clubs, the world in English. As you can see from the name, we're going to talk about our world, its problems, new trends, new developments. Most of my students are from IT, from industries, from science. So to help them develop professional English, not just talking about traveling or food, but also about more complicated things, we need to talk about complicated subjects and topics. That's why in my speaking club we are talking about these things like IT developments, you know, AI, chat GPT, COVID-19, uh, so business cases, also financial risks. So it's uh, very much like a university seminar. You get some materials to prepare, some articles, videos to get the ideas and uh, maybe to pick up some vocabulary to be able to speak more confidently and uh, to make our discussions more exciting because when you prepare for these discussions they are much much more interesting maybe you'll need some one or two hours to prepare well for these discussions then we meet on zoom or skype depending on your decisions and we discuss the things so I, uh, I welcome you to my speaking club. I hope you will enjoy our discussions. The, when uh, deforestation is, uh, is coming, uh, they go to uh, left uh, forest deeper and deeper. Uh, mm. But uh, in Asia, in indigenous uh, people... Indigenous, indigenous people. Indigenous, indigenous people. Uh, don't live uh, in so so deep in the forest. So because they uh, have been um, civilized much longer. Because it's, it's there is a big cultural difference between, for example, Vietnamese people and uh, uh, local uh, South American Indian tribes uh, who live in the jungles in some kind of prehistoric way. Yes, and maybe as I uh, understood, maybe uh, they they only work. Uh, in forests, but may maybe they uh, live near the forests, not in the forest. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was clear that for people who uh, who interact uh, with uh, uh, malaria mosquitoes uh, for a long time uh, mm -hmm. have uh, immunity to them. But, uh, yeah, but by the way, I didn't get this point. So it's quite obvious that if you interact with this disease for centuries, of course, you've developed an immunity. But how it can affect future, I mean, in, in the future, if, if uh, these areas are deforestated, so the forest will be destroyed and people will eventually lose their immunity because they will stop uh, being bitten by, by these uh, mosquitoes. So malaria will will not be spread there in new deforestated areas. So I think people will lose their immunity, no? It's an interesting question because uh, I'm not sure that I uh, clearly understood uh, it from this article. Uh, because uh, in my opinion, uh, these people can't uh, lose their immunity in uh, five or six years. And uh, I expected that the processes of uh, uh, de decreasing the malaria uh, will not shorter but faster in this uh, popula uh, population uh, in Amazon. But uh, this article said uh, about uh, another situation. <laughs> okay.